Hi, I'm David Bacaron with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers here in Chicago at the McCormick Place Ultimate Care Facility. We're actually sitting here in Hall B and we just turned over this facility this morning. And I want to give you a, an outline of uh, the layout of this facility. So we have 750 patient spaces, which are negative pressure rooms, and they're configured in this U-shape, 15 bed space pods that we call them, surrounded by a large nursing station. What we have here is uh, basically 570 spaces in the front of the hall, and then room for expansion, 180 spaces in the back and they're separated by a movable wall. What we have here also is uh, some support functions. We have bottled oxygen and a housekeeping rooms at both sides. We have a remote pharmacy on this side. Egress and, and entry. Entry of patients would come from the outside into the hall uh, from the east and then emergency egress to the west. So I'm here with uh, Tom Kaplis with uh, Walsh Construction, who uh, was our contractor for this. And Tom? Sure, I'm gonna talk about some of the engineering uh, components of the space. So as David said, uh, 750 uh, individual tent patient care spaces is what this hall is designed for. We currently have erected 500 of those tents, but we have the infrastructure in place for the 750. So what does that infrastructure look like? That infrastructure consists of a emergency power system, a medical gas system, which includes oxygen and vacuum, as well as a very robust exhaust system. So each one of the tents that you see behind us is its own negative pressure unit, which is operated by a HEPA filtration system. That HEPA filtration system is tied into a main duct trunk line after being purified, then that air exhausts out of the space. So I'm gonna walk you into one of these tents and show you some of the components of the engineering. So this here is one of the HEPA units. This HEPA unit is tied into that ductwork outside, which is supported by the scaffold system. We have an exam light, we have a patient light. The red outlets here are for the emergency power, which is generator based and we've positioned a generator on the loading dock of the McCormick Place. You have oxygen, which is supported by a medical gas tank farm, which is also positioned out in the loading dock. And then you have vacuum, which is uh, supported by a medical vacuum system, which is positioned outside of the space. All of these things are piped in line into this facility to service the 750 patient units that we've designed. Now we want to talk a little bit about the nurse station. These nurse stations were all prefabricated off-site, but a lot of thought went into these over a short period of time. We talked about travel distances, we talked about adjacencies, we talked about line of sights between the pods themselves, as well as into the rooms, so that the staff, the doctors, the nurses, the clinicians would be able to operate properly. Absolutely. And another feature of each of these rooms, even though they're located in a U-shape and there's a clear line of sight, we also included a nurse call system that is wireless to the entire network. So the folks uh, that are working this site, they're going to have clear line of sight plus also alarms and nurse calls. We have satellite pharmacies that serve these 500 patient units, but we also have these Pixis units that are positioned at the nurse's station for all the pharmacy needs. Power, data, UPSs, all outfitted within the nurse stations uh, so that this can function uh, very efficiently for the staff. They don't have to do a lot of traveling. They can all be in one position and communicate between this 15 pod bay and the next 15 pod bay to make 30 patient care spaces. So each pod of 15 uh, has a hand washing station uh, associated. This is our Z configuration. There's actually a sink on both sides and it has a touchless uh, actuator on it and instant hot water. We know that the nurses will have to keep their hands clean uh, for hygiene and so we've incorporated that into the design. So one of the most unique things about uh, the McCormick Place or building an alternative care facility inside of a convention hall are these boxes that you see covered up on the floor. Inside each one of these boxes 
contains your power, your water, your gas, data, waste lines. All that stuff was already cast into the slab. So as we started to develop our plans here, this was a very simple connection to make for the majority of this facility. Without these, we would have been running pipe, conduit, wire, etc., all over the place to accept what was needed to make this a functioning alternative care facility. The next thing I want to show you guys has to do uh, again with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, and it's this ductwork system and this rack. So we mentioned that the HEPA filtration system comes out of the tents into the medium pressure ductwork, which you see here, and then exhausts out of the facility through those windows there after being purified. There's large fans that are put on this system to create that exhaust, as well as this entire volume of space is in a negative pressure condition. So you have negative pressure to the space, you have negative pressure from the tents, purified air into that ductwork, and then out of the facility. On these racks also, this supported all of our medical gas, so our copper piping for the vacuum and the oxygen, and all of our electrical service, both normal power and critical power. There's a tremendous amount of engineering that went into this hall here, and it's all done within 25 days. So 25 days ago, there was nothing here. There was a clean slab. And in less than four weeks, the Corps of Engineers, Walsh Construction, the McCormick Place, and a bunch of tradesmen and designers and engineers made this happen. It's really just an amazing thing.